The Trump campaign has just filed a huge lawsuit. Play for me. I know that a lot of you today have seen these videos of people being turned away for at the polls in places like Delaware County and Bucks County. And last night, we even saw one of our great local leaders, Val Bianca Niello, arrested at the polls for telling people to stay in line. All she was doing was telling folks, stay and vote. They took her away in handcuffs. <laughs> folks, here's what's happening. Democrat election officials are seeing our numbers. They're seeing our turnout. They are seeing us breaking early vote records across Pennsylvania. They are terrified and they want to stop our momentum. We are not going to let them suppress our votes. We are going to fight. I'm proud tonight to tell you that the Trump Vance campaign has just filed a huge lawsuit against Bucks County for turning away our voters. We are going to fight this thing in court, and all we ask of you is to stay in line. Donald Trump needs your votes. Donald Trump needs Pennsylvania, and America needs Pennsylvania. We are going to swamp the vote, and we are not going to let the Democrats stop us. Nine years ago, I know that a lot one. Let's talk about this. Mama Via writes here, I hope Laura Trump has someone from the RNC station in Bucks County the next few days. Listen, that's the, you know, you have to give credit, credit where credit is due. I've been highly critical of the RNC, but not, not since Laura Trump has taken over because they are suing now. This is what you have to do now. You go after Bucks County now, and then the next day, they're letting people vote at 430 that are already in line. They're not closing down the polling places inexplicably at 145. You jump on it now. You don't let the fraud happen, then try to litigate it post-election when everybody has like 12 days to certify the election. Why do they only have 12 days? Because they wanted to make it only 12 days, so they have to certify fraudulent elections. So there's no time to litigate anything. There's no time for a forensic audit. They don't want there to be any time. So they, we have to certify. We have to certify. Brad Raffensperger in Georgia. We have to certify. We have, No, you don't. No, you don't. Do a forensic audit. Why is everybody afraid? That is the essence of democracy, a forensic audit. Who voted? Who? Where did it come from? Name, address, phone number. Legitimize the name. Uh, every name needs, needs to be legitimized because the Democrats have hundreds of thousands of phantom voters. How do they how do they create phantom voters when you have no signature verification needed? You have mass mail-in balloting, no ID requirements. If there's no ID requirements, what stops me? Can't do the state of Florida, but in the state of Pennsylvania, in the state of Michigan, if there's no voter ID requirement at all. What keeps me from voting in every county three times? Think, I mean, Aaron, Aaron, am I missing it? What would stop me? Yeah. Nothing. If I go in there and there's no ID requirements where they go in and they check you off yeah. as a registered voter, there's, I mean, that's what they do here in the state of Florida. You go in and you have your driver's license. You are already a registered voter. And when, when, when you go and show your ID, they check you off. You're done. You cannot vote again in the state of Florida. I can drive wherever I want. I can try whenever I can go back to the precinct. I can try it. I can vote at seven o'clock in the morning, go back at eight o'clock at night or whatever the polls close and try to vote again. I can't. I will I'll automatically, automatically be red flagged. Not in Michigan. What's going to stop you? If they don't do that, if they don't do that uh, a voter ID check and voter verification showing that I'm actually a human being, then what would stop any? I mean, think about it. You wouldn't have to be even 18 years old. You certainly wouldn't have to be a United States citizen, would you? You go in there and nobody asks for anything. So what would stop you from voting 47 times?